One by one, Nigerians are registering to vote in what their government vows will be a break from the violent rigged polls of the past. Here in Morocco, a slum in the commercial capital Lagos, youngsters on their national service are scanning voters' fingerprints outside a school in an ambitious high-tech effort to clean up the electoral roll. There have been glitches, they say, hardly surprising in a country where corruption has swallowed vast oil revenues, leaving the poor without electricity, but not enough to thwart their efforts. Exercises like this have a special poignancy around here. Most of the residents remember the day in 1990 when the army came to evict them from their previous settlement on the orders of the military government of the day. Some of them, some of the soldiers were on horsebacks riding horses with whips to whip anybody. And they came with about six trucks of empty coffins that whoever opposed them, they will kill the person and throw the body into the coffin. The evictee's 21-year legal battle for compensation shows no sign of ending soon. Today, their old homes have given way to glitzy developments, the playground of Lagos's wealthy elite. And in a system where power flows from patronage, even those of their own whom the Morocco residents support in local and national elections soon desert them. Those of us, those of our boys, that had the chance, that we gave the chance now, they seize the opportunity to get out of poverty. And they are easily influenced by money bags. Across the Sahara, in Tunisia and Egypt, pressures like this have boiled over. Many Nigerians are hopeful that this time, things will be different, even if they doubt their politicians' pledges to abandon rigging and intimidation. Some, like Alain Eje, are clear in what they want from the ballot. Yeah, we, we, people are coming here to register us, so, but now we are afraid of, of this government, we are tired of this government. So we need a change of government. These are 21 years here now, there was no government present here for us. So we need a change of government. Voter registration is about to close, but the real test comes in April with the elections. And beyond that, whether the people of Morocco and the rest of the 150 million Nigerians are able to gain a hold on those who wield power in their name. Tom Burgess, Financial Times, Lagos, Nigeria.